The Clone Wars are back, baby. After years of waiting, we got our first episode of the final season, and man, was it a fun one. The episode opens, and we're getting very close to the waning days of the Clone Wars. We're inching closer and closer to Order 66 in the Star Wars timeline. Anakin Skywalker, Mace Windu, and Republic forces are on Anaxis, trying their best to beat back Admiral Trench and his Separatist forces, but they can't seem to gain any ground against the Separatists. Every move that Captain Rex orders, it seems that the Separatists have a counter attack for. The Separatists seem to be using analytics to stymie the Republic Army's moves, some sort of algorithm that can predict their every move. Mace, Anakin, Commander Cody, and Captain Rex are trying to decide how to best handle the situation, and Rex proposes that they lead a squad behind enemy lines to breach the Separatist Cyber Center and steal any intel that they can in hopes that it'll shed some light on what might be allowing the Separatists to know all of the Republic Army's moves as they happen. Rex also seems to be holding his thoughts back from Mace and Anakin, and it seems that Anakin can sense Rex isn't being completely forthright with him. So I imagine that will be something to watch as the season and the story arc progresses. We then see Rex in his quarters looking at a photo of him him, Cody, Echo, and Fives, and Rex tells Cody that he believes that Echo may be the one behind the Separatists' successful counter moves and their algorithm. But Cody is hesitant to fully accept this theory, since Echo is believed to have died at the Citadel prison on Layla Seyu. Commander Cody then has an idea. Bring in Clone Troop 99 to help assist him and Rex, as Troop 99 has a 100% success rate. We're then introduced to Troop 99, or the Bad Batch as they're referred to, which is comprised of Hunter, Tech, Wrecker, and Crosshair, four clones that have been modified with desirable mutations. Hunter has enhanced senses, including highly sensitive olfactory faculties and the ability to sense strong electromagnetic emissions on a planet-wide scale. Wrecker has superhuman strength, Tech has an aptitude for science, and incredible skills with technology, including engineering, decryption, and language translation, and Crosshair, who has incredible sharpshooting abilities and is capable of shooting targets from 10 kilometers away. Along with troopers Jess and Kix, Rex, Cody, and the Bad Batch head off to the Cyber Center. On their way to the Cyber Center, however, their gunship is spotted by droids and shot down. Commander Cody is injured in the crash, and we see Wrecker's mutation of extreme strength come in hand, as he's able to save Cody by lifting the LAAT gunship off of Cody. As they're trying to move from the crash site, a droid force arrives. We then see the Bad Batch in action, working together to aggressively take down the entire force head on. Soon thereafter, the clones camp out for the night and learn the injuries Cody has sustained are quite serious and that he can't go any further. Cody and Kix then stay back to be evacuated, while the rest of the group continues on to the Cyber Center. In route to the Cyber Center, the clones then come across an outpost and decide to fight their way through it to save time rather than go around it and avoid a fight. Rex has them split up and aggressively take the outpost, and they're able to overtake the droids and intercept a message that droid reinforcements are on their way. The clones quickly head over to the Cyber Center and are able to take the droids by surprise. Hunter, Tech, and Wrecker penetrate the center while Crosshair and Jesse keep their droids busy. Rex joins Tech in the command center and Tech is able to discover the algorithm the Separatists have been using, but Tech gets a transmission that sounds like a human voice. Rex is able to ask the person who they are and the answer shocks Rex. It says they are CT1409. This is the clone number of Echo, his fellow trooper he long thought dead. Rex's instincts were right. Echo is alive and behind the Separatist success against the Republic forces on an axis. The clones are able to fight their way out of the Cyber Center as the droid reinforcements arrive. Crosshair picks them up in a stolen speeder and they quickly get away and that's where the episode ends. Even though this storyline has been available on Star Wars website for quite some time, I've avoided watching those reels or reading up on the Bad Batch story arc as much as possible and I'm so glad that I did because this episode 
episode was super fun to watch. Plus, the animation looks really great. You can tell Disney was able to put more resources into these episodes, which I'm really happy about. The fight scenes that we got in the episode were really fun and really cool, and I also really enjoyed the music in the episode, or the lack thereof at times, as there is some silence strategically used in scenes as well, which helped add suspense to the action. This was a great start for the season, and I'm excited to see the remaining 11 episodes. But what are your thoughts on this episode? Was there anything from it that you liked that I didn't touch on? Let us know down in the comments. We'll be reviewing and breaking down each episode of this season after they premiere, so make sure to keep your eyes open for those. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Follow Dan's On Fandoms on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr, all at Dan's On Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.